So in the Taz, there's a method to skip level 11, which is the first castle. I thought I'd make a video showing how to do that. The Taz, it is quite difficult because you need a frame perfect trick, but it is possible. So I'll show you the Taz route first, and that does a few things that aren't um, necessary. You can do substitutes in unassisted runs. So what the Taz does is it climbs this ladder and it holds up and right for the whole time but on the last frame before the screen transitions it lets go of up here so let's go of up there and what that does is it makes Alex fall down so the screen transitions down because he's moving downwards so that's how you get out of bounds in the Taz but there is an easy method which I'll show after so what the Taz does is it just holds right for this whole period from this point on and you'll notice that Alex's X position is increasing a little bit each time the screen drops and once it gets high enough he will transition to the right and until that transition all you have to do is hold the right button now this room has a rice cake in it that's what we're aiming for but next time we come into this room there'll be a block in front of it for some reason so we'll have to come up in this exact spot and try and grab it before we die from being inside a block so it transitions to the right into this room and then it will transition down now Alex is about here and at this point all we have to do is just jump and hold the jump button for the entire duration of it so by jumping Alex will move quite far to the right to about here and we have to do three jumps to get our position to be near that rice cake so this part's quite nice all you have to do is three very full jumps while holding right now here's the tricky part so if you don't jump here um, based on the position for some reason when you're at this position Alex will fall through the screen and the screens will keep going down that's like what was happening at the start of the glitch when we first went out of bounds so what you need to do is actually a frame perfect jump and if you have a ram watch which you can't use in a run unfortunately you'll see why velocity is going up to 4 and at that point where it went from 4 to 2 you want to jump on that 2 so yeah it, the Y velocity will go 4 2 0 or like 4 3 0 4 1 0 something like that you just want to jump on that middle frame in between 4 and 0 so if you get that jump you don't have to hold it or anything so you can just match if you get it you will jump up and grab that rice cake and that frame perfect jump is the only way to get in bounds using this scrolling glitch thing so it's going to be in any method used to skip this castle now he jumps up and grabs the rats okay so that's the method used in the Taz and that's the quickest one but there's a couple more that I want to show off okay so this method is probably the easiest one and it starts the same as the Taz method but all you have to do is hold right and mash jump and it's definitely not as fast because you still have to fight Stonehead and everything but it's safe at least so what you do if you're doing this non-Taz the best way to do it would be to go down the ladder from the room above and when the screen gets to a specific point you want to pause that point is exactly when it reaches here and that's when you hit pause so if you're too early or too late by a frame it won't work but you can kind of buffer it and you can always have another go of it so this method it pauses here and then the screen scrolls again you let it scroll down one and once it starts moving again I like to start mashing jump or if you have the timing you can click jump so this is a frame perfect jump again but if you get it you inbounds here and this is a uh, inbounds room in the castle and you just do it normally from this point so that would skip a little bit and I'll show you the next one the next one's very similar it's sort of a backup if you miss 
that one just before. So it's basically the same start with the pause and you let it scroll down three screens instead. And you, this method's actually quicker than the last one, but if you miss this one, then you're kind of fooling for the whole time and it goes wrong. So you could try the last one, the one just before first, and then you could try this one as a backup. And then I guess you could try the Taz method as your third backup, because you'd be holding right for the whole time, and if you miss the jump, then you are basically on the right track to do the Taz method. But it's kind of annoying each... Like, the first one that you have a go at is the slowest, the second one is the next slow, the next fastest, and then the last one is the fastest. So, if you leave it till later, you'll get the fastest method, but it will also be more risky. So, if your inbound's in this room, you fight Scissor's Head. So, you do the fight, you can probably um, text skip with pausing, and then um, you just fight him and get the rice cake that way. So, those are two kind of backup methods, and there's one more kind of funny method that I'd like to show. So the princess is out of bounds too. You can pause skip that as well. Um, that was the original method I had that used to be the fastest before I found the Taz method. But um, looking back on it, the Taz method is probably just as hard. Um, it seems bad because of the lining up, but it's just three full jumps, which isn't too bad. So yeah, actually out of bounds, there's Scissors Head, Princess, Paper Head, and Jenkin all out of bounds. So it's funny exploring that kind of stuff. But those are some methods that I thought might be good to try and run. Um, yeah, looking back on it, the Taz method isn't too bad. As long as you use the pause glitch to get down the ladder, it should be fine. So if you're going to try out some, good luck with them.